stereoisomers of monosaccharides in this video we are going to discuss what is the meaning of enantiomers in case of monosaccharides and what is the meaning of diastereomers and what are epimers actually these three terms are useful to understand carbohydrates or monosaccharides further so first of all we'll see uh, all of you know these are very uh, simple terms but i want to revise it here in this video what are enantiomers enantiomers are the mirror images of each other but the mirror image should not be superimposable so our right hand side right hand and left hand both are mirror images which are non superimposable just that just just like this d glucose and d uh, l glucose or you can see you can take any monosaccharide and consider a mirror you can consider a mirror here and form its mirror image these two are actually non superimposable mirror images so such non superimposable mirror images are called enantiomers so d glucose and l glucose are enantiomers d galactose and l galactose are enantiomers so just like that you just draw the structure of monosaccharide consider one mirror and draw its mirror image and of course that mirror image will be non superimposable there are 1 2 3 4 4 stereogenic centers now see you have to just change the letter d to l because you can see the configuration at last chiral carbon is different in fact the configuration is different in all but here oh group is toward our left hand side because of this it becomes l so you remember d and l monosaccharides are called enantiomers because they are non superimposable mirror images so this example is given here what is diastereomers these are the isomers they are isomers of course but uh, they are not superimposable or they are not mirror images of each other you can take the example of glucose and galactose any any two you can pick up monosaccharide so there is no relationship mirror image relationship you can consider a mirror there is no this is not mirror image of this one or this is not mirror image of this one but still they are isomers such isomers which are not mirror images of each other are called diastereomers now we'll discuss the meaning of epimers epimers these are the diastereomers these are the diastereomers which are not superimposable mirror images of each other but these are special type of diastereomers which are having different configuration at the asymmetric carbon which is at alpha position listen asymmetric carbon which is at alpha position to the carbonyl group now first of all you find out the carbon which is asymmetric at or uh, asymmetric at alpha position so this is carbonyl carbon and next to this carbon is alpha carbon so this is carbonyl carbon and next to this is alpha carbon so this is carbonyl carbon in case of keto ketoses this is alpha carbon so next to this carbon is a alpha carbon now what is the meaning of that the meaning of epimer is they are not superimposable mirror images but still they are isomers that means they are diastereomers but these diastereomers are the special type of diastereomers where the configuration at one asymmetric carbon is different which is that that asymmetric carbon is alpha alpha means what next to the carbonyl carbon you can check here you can check here i i i'll make the hmm. this is alpha and you check the configuration here so you can see here oh is toward this side and oh is toward this side and rest of the molecule you can check rest three asymmetric carbon which is at c3 c4 and c5 these are having you can check here similar kind of configuration so the same arrangement you can you can write here same arrangement so here it is same arrangement same arrangement or configuration arrangement same arrangement and this is a different arrangement so these are the diastereomers or special type of diastereomers where the configuration at alpha carbon is different only 
the rest of the molecule having same configuration uh, or at remaining all asymmetric carbons are identical then these two are called epimers they are called epimers these are aldohexoses and in case of ketoses also epimers possible so you can see here you can check here here this is a alpha carbon and this is a alpha asymmetric carbon where the configuration is different OH is toward right hand side OH is toward left hand side but remaining means at this center at this center the configuration is same but only differ at alpha carbon so because of this these two are epimers so these two are epimers one more thing I want to add here epimers are interconvertible so when uh, in case of uh, when we uh, add alkaline solution they convert d glucose to d mannose this is called epimerization so conversion interconversion of uh, interconversion of epimers in alkaline medium is is called epimerization so the uh, d glucose is converted to the d mannose and d mannose is converted to the d glucose that is called epimerization so you must remember that term epimerization and epimers uh, this is all about stereoisomers of monosaccharides. Thank you.